Hey guys, welcome back to Closet MTG. And today, guys, a little bit of a different video, guys. Um, this actually is uh, the start of a new series. Um, this series, I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to complete. Um, hopefully, it'll I'll be able to do it within a couple of years, if not a year. Um, but uh, I mean, the goal is a year, but we'll see how long it takes. Um, that being said, guys, this is my first dip into owning actual legal power, guys. I said that's right. I said that right. Power. So today, guys, I'm going to share with you my most recent Black Friday purchase, guys. Very exciting. This is my first dabble with, well, I'll take it out of its case a mox ruby guys look at that unlimited mox ruby definitely fairly loved heavily played as you can see with the h in the bottom corner guys um it is real um the definitely the card fits the time frame at least the look and feel and so forth um i was able to use my little jar link widget to confirm by looking at the little green symbol for the uh the four red dots in the shape of an L, that's there. Looks very nice. Again, the card has the look and feel of a real unlimited power card. Um, so definitely excited about that. Um, but yeah, guys, um, just wanted to share um, my uh, beginning journey to collect uh, one of each of the unlimited moxes. Um, I'd like to also potentially pull the Black Lotus, uh, not, or not pull it, but purchase it at some point. Um, that's a little bit out of my price range at this point, though. I think these, these, these unlimited power occasionally, if you can find a good deal online, um, yeah, I like just to be able to own one of them since, I mean, there's just not enough, there's not a lot of them left guys, even in this heavy played state. I mean, this still was like definitely one of the most expensive magic purchases i've made um i just think going forward from an investment standpoint guys i mean i'm not sure if this is gonna stay the same or if it's gonna run in the short term i'm sure in the long term it'll go up in price um, but it's probably gonna stay stagnant for a bit um, that being said i think there's some factors that could change that and that's inflation i think really we're about to see some it, if we haven't seen it already, some increasing inflation in the U.S. economy. Um, so I think because of that, a lot of the prices of magic and seal product, we will see continued um, movements upwards and so forth. Movement upwards. Um, but that being said, guys, yeah, just wanted to share this, guys. Share a cool old school card. I mean, I was so excited when this came um, earlier this week. I, mean, I literally just sat down and stared at this thing. I mean, just because, I mean, I've never owned a legit piece of power i do have another piece of power from the collector's edition um i will be sharing that at some point guys that video um but an actual real unlimited card this is the first one i honestly own guys um so definitely cool to start the start uh the collection or the my power collection with one of the nicest cards um from the original power nine that being the mox ruby that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, usually these videos don't typically see um, a ton of views, but again, my channel is for fun, from pack cracking to my EDH deck text to my investing in magic to everything else magic related. Just having fun here, guys, sharing my content. Um, do you guys own power? Does anybody else own power? Have, did you? Are you one of the unlucky few who sold your or traded your Black Lotus or Mox for like a shipping dragon or something back in the day. I'd love to hear your stories in the comment section, guys. Um, that being said, as always, please like, subscribe, with the bell icon, and we will catch you soon for the next MTG content-related video. Take care, y'all.